In the golf swing, everybody always thinks, what am I supposed to do with my wrist? How do I get as much speed as possible? And that's what we're going to talk about today here on Get Good at Golf. So we're on the second hole here at Woolley Park, and we need to get into position. But this is where we talk about positions in the golf swing. A lot of people get fixated and obsessive. Okay, so I need to get that takeaway move right. Okay, that's good there. Then I need to hinge, and then from there I need to lift, and then I need to turn, then I need to get back down. And all, there's a lot of things going on. What I want you to do is think about, right, how do we generate as much speed as possible? Yes, we have to have a good basic setup. So we have to have a nice neutral grip. We have to have a good ball position. We have to have a good stance. And then from here, it's not about strangling that golf club and trying to hit it as hard as possible. It's about making sure that we are creating as many levers as possible and giving ourselves the biggest width in our golf swing. So what I mean by width is, see when we take this club away, if I do a takeaway and then I start to really hinge my wrist, get the arms going, which is what we see from a lot of everyday golfers, we're losing speed already. We're not in a good athletic position here. We've got to start to get down to the ball. And we often see the club return just like this. There's no real pressure going onto that golf ball. We're very much tall and upright, and we might lose a little bit of control of that club face. It could be right, it could be left, we don't know. So what I want you to do is start to think, right, I want that club to stay nice and far away from me. So I want it as far away as possible. And from here, I don't want you to think about hinging your wrist. That will naturally happen once you reach this part of the golf swing. Because from here, obviously, if we don't hinge our wrist, we're going to end up swinging just to here. And I'm sure you would feel that, right, that doesn't feel right. I've looked at myself on video, and I know that's not right. Naturally, those wrists are going to want to hinge, and we're going to make sure we rotate to the top of that backswing. So I'm going to make sure it's nice and wide here. From here, it'll naturally hinge, and I'm now in a good position at the top of my backswing again. Loaded onto my right-hand side, a three-quarter swing here, which will go a little bit more with momentum. And from here, my thought is, right, come down, and I'm just thinking about letting those wrists unhinge into the golf ball. I've let those just return back to where they were, and you'll see I've got a little bit of forward shaft lean. I've got a nice square club face to my intended start line, and then from there, I can rotate through. So we're not actively thinking about what our wrists are doing. We're trying to make it as simple as possible. Keep it nice and wide, get to the top, and then get to your finish. If we can do that, guys, we can get into that good setup. We can start to build a good swing with plenty of speed. And we can hit nice, high launching, little draws, just like that. You see, everything is in balance. I've not strangled the club, and that is in the middle of the fairway. Nice and easy there. And yes, you might say you're saying it's nice and easy because you are a PGA professional, but I've not had to think about it. Think about yourself. Get in the comments below. How many swing thoughts do you have? Do you think maybe just keep it nice and wide and then get through to your finish? Or are you thinking take away, hinge, turn to the top, down into the delivery, right, release or hold off, depending what kind of shot you're trying to think of. You overthinking it we can quickly do that in golf because we know that everybody goes for lessons you go for a lesson you get told you need to have these key points in your head and how many of you go out of a lesson and you've got eight key points we can't memorize those on the golf course so get our setup basics correct feel like that club works nice and wide And that's two down the fairway in play with a good shot into this green. And if you can do that, guys, that's going to help you get good at golf in 2024.